Okay guys, we got this uh, 2000 Dodge Durango right here and they said that the car doesn't start and that they jumpered the wire, I mean doesn't uh, charge the battery and they jumpered the wires and uh, let me bring up on the scan tool our information and then uh, I'll show you guys what they did to fix it. So here we got our voltage, our target charging. Over here our yellow trace is our battery voltage right there on the battery. Our green trace is our current, that's our amps, we're putting out 29 amps right now. Uh, the blue trace is right here on this green and orange wire. You can see somebody jumpered it right here. Somebody jumpered it to this uh, uh, white and blue wire right here with this scotch lock. And then the red is our, uh, our white and blue trace. I'm using Phil's probes right here. So that's what we're seeing right now. So we got the same voltage on those other ones. Um, let's put the lights on and everything. I want to show you guys. So this alternator can put out some current. So we'll turn this on. We'll turn our uh, blower motor on max. We'll put our rear defrost on. Uh, we'll put our headlights on max. And then when we come up here, look at that. Voltage sense, 39. Look at our current. We're putting out. 89 amps. It says battery voltage is 104. 100, I mean, sorry, 14.06 volts. Look at that. So we can put out current. Current's not an issue. Um, do we have our high beams on? Okay, that's our high beams right there. Let's just double check this real quick. Uh. Yeah, so 89 amps. I think when I first put this on and I did the same test, we were at like 110. So I'm not, I am not worried about that. Oh, and they put another PCM in here. So um, I'm gonna undo this connector over here. I haven't tried this yet. I undid the connector once and uh, it stops charging. The car will stop charging. They put it, like I said, this new PCM or reman something, there's a sticker on it. And uh, I want to see what we get on this green and orange wire because they said they put multiple alternators on here and it does the same thing. Hey guys, so once we did that, our alternator current went down. So we're just running off battery voltage. We have our voltage sense on this other wire, but we have nothing coming out of the PCM as far as control. There's nothing. Hmm. I wonder what happens if we unplug this. So we still have nothing. Can we cycle the key real quick? Just curious. I think we got a bad alternator, guys. Yeah, there's no control coming out of this. And also another thing is that this alt, this uh, PCM isn't bolted in. I don't know if that makes a difference or not. All right, so our green and our orange wire, that's supposed to be grounded. So if we connect this test light to ground, let's see if we can do this without hitting our AC. So if we touch this one, it's grounded, okay? Our, our blue trace, I'm sorry. Our blue trace has power right now, okay? It's supposed to be grounded, okay? Our uh, blue and, I'm sorry, our white and our dark blue right there, that's supposed to have constant power. Look at that. And if you look at our light right there, our red is at ground. So our wires are like pretty much like backwards right now. So what I did was, I took a jumper wire right here. I got this connected to the alternator right there. See the red on the alternator? And then if we jumper this to this blue, and white right here, watch this. Let's see, I didn't have my piercing probe in all the way. Something. Come on. Let me put this piercing probe in. 
We got the wire in there. Look at that. We're charging it right now. 65 amps. See that? 65 amps. Battery voltage is up. I take this off. Look at that. Change it back up. Starts charging. So, our problem is with this ECU because it's running. Another thing too is I noticed if I came in the codes, I don't know if it's going to come in here right now. We had a code for a leak detection pump. And if we come in here on our diagram, I was following these wires, leak detection pump right here, white and blue. Look, it goes to our charging system. So we got a leak detection pump and a charging system issue because of this wire right here. Um, the only other thing that I could think of is if our leak detection pump shorted out. I guess I could unplug that quick, see if our leak detection pump's bad. Guys, I put the uh, old uh, PCU in and uh, I found the leak detection pump over there. And uh, if I put my amp clamp around here, this is our power wire going to our alternator. I only see about 1.8 amps. I saw three already before, but that's it. That's all I see. I'm gonna clip this back around our main power wire here in our alternator. You see we got 30 amps. Um, the only other thing that I could think of is uh, I don't know why our blue still has power though. Let me go double check this. Make sure that I'm reading this right because it said that we should have ground on that one. Uh, ground on our green and power on our other one. So our blue one should actually be grounded right now and it's not grounded. At least that's what I saw. Let me read the diagrams again. The theory in operation, it says the the negative field terminal should be 3 to 8 volts less than battery voltage. Um, says turn the ignition switch on. Is this a key on? What about when running? Uh, let's see. With the engine running. Okay, the positive field terminal should be 2.5 to 14.5. Negative field terminal should be 3 to 8 volts less than battery voltage. Okay, 3 to 8 volts. Let's see what we're at. I think we are 3 to 8 volts. Um, oh, so we are not 3 to 8 volts. Could it be a bad alternator? I don't think it should be a bad alternator. Can we unplug this? Now let's see what we got. Yeah, see, we don't have any voltage coming out of this PCM. And we should have constant battery voltage on this thing. And we don't have that. I think that's why our field's getting stuck high. <sighs> okay, guys. I want to show you where I'm at. So, uh, just doing a bunch of research. So, we're charging right now, okay? So, let me, uh... Let me shut this car off. I want to show you guys some stuff because we can only do it while the car's off. So we turn the ignition on, okay? Turn the ignition on. If we go back into here, we go to scope, or sorry. Let's see, scan tool. We go to a leak detection pump right now with that wire jumped, okay? Watch this. We can turn the pump on and off. And you can hear it click. So listen. Okay, so that works, okay? Works 100%. So 
So now let me go back to our scope. Um, I'm going to uh, connect our Altel back up so I can do this test for you guys real quick. Let me connect the Altel up. Let me get this connected and then I'll show you guys what else I found. That connected, like if we do a start actuation right here, see stop, see that? You can see it show up. And if we disconnect this, watch this. See, there we go. So that's all working right there, guys. And what we can actually see is if we connect this, you can actually see the magnetic field collapsing in that on the red trace. See that? From our alternator. So I'm calling a bad ECU. So I'm going to get another one and we'll see if we can get that one to work. Guys, I got the new ECU in and uh, it looks like we're charging. Yeah, it looks like we're charging 14.5. I'm scanning the car, see if we got anything. We have no lights except for our ABS and washer fluid, so I'm okay with that. I don't know what our ABS codes is. I'm just gonna have to scan. Okay, guys, so it's been running for like an hour so far. I um, guess I never finished scanning because I didn't press OK on the radio. Um, doesn't look like we have any codes, so I think we're gonna be good to go here. So, hope you guys like it. We don't have our EVAP codes or anything now. Because we have no codes. Look at that. Just super, super slow. And it's scanning for every single module that could possibly be on this thing. Um, surprised we don't have another module, but... Look at that. So, and our battery voltage is still at 14.5. So, hope you guys like it. See you later.